On the airwaves of D93, Samantha and Phil Telling our story week after week Spreading love and joy for all to see oh, yeah. We'll keep on dancing, we'll keep on singing Our hearts are open, our love is bringing oh, 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 oh. Hello and welcome to D93 News presented by Idaho Farm Bureau can you believe it's May already? I mean, it's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> Things are going to get very busy around here as we build up to graduations at the end of the month. Our top story this week comes from D93's Praxium Academy, where many of the Yetis just returned from a very successful trip to state. We did awesome at regionals. We sent a huge number of our kids to state. And once we got to state, we did so well. The Yetis had 27 students qualify from regionals to participate at state. That's really impressive, especially when you consider the size of the school. At state, Haley, Brian, and Spider placed fourth. Xander, AJ, and Andrew placed third. Clara was a state runner-up and Miriam, Archimedes, and Connor finished first. It's, it's like really surreal. I love it. Um, I was really shocked. I actually calculated it out before. If it was just a draw, I would have a 12.5% chance of going to nationals. And like, I, I, it's just so fun and I can't believe I made it. So. Clara attributes a lot of her success to her teachers at Praxium. So Miss McLean, she was definitely a big help in this whole process. Uh, she and Miss Iyer, um, they both uh, reviewed my website and all that, and they really just helped me like go forward. And if I was stuck, they'd be like, "Okay, I'll help you with this and all that." And so Praxium just really was a huge help because like everyone in the school had to do it, and so they were. It's very. It was very. They were very centered on NHD, so it was really helpful. Victor enjoyed his trip to state and says it was an eye-opening experience. When it was your time for judging, you went over to a certain room where the judging would actually happen. And it was kind of surreal doing the judging. The competition is where it all comes together and whether it's qualifying for state or nationals or simply finishing, the lessons learned will stick around for a real long time to come. We really focus on research, on credible sources. We focus on the writing process. We talk about creative, creative thinking and creative writing. And we do this across the curriculum. So even though you think of reading and writing and research as like an English thing you do in English class, we do it across all the curriculums. And so really the kids are practicing the skills they needed in National History Day all year long. And then when when National History Day comes along, they're able to really focus in on what they need to do. Amazing work there. Now let's head directly north from the Yetis campus to Bonneville Online High School for another installment of Emmys Awards from East Idaho News. Hey guys, welcome to Emmys Awards. We're here at Bonneville Online High School and today we're, I'm thrilled to be talking with Natalie Judy. Natalie Judy is one amazing girl. She is a student at Bonneville Online High School and is a member of the school's Hope Squad. Natalie is the only national member of Hope Squad in the state of Idaho. She's also a member of her school's student council. She loves to be involved in helping others and is always putting others' needs before her own. Natalie lost her dad almost two years ago in a car crash and has chosen to not only overcome this hardship, but to crush it. She has stepped up for her family in so many ways and they have been able to keep and maintain their cattle business with help from their friends and Natalie's ability to step in wherever she is needed. Natalie is often the chauffeur for her two younger siblings and widowed mom. At times, Natalie had even been the caregiver for her family as her mom has had to take a few surgeries over the last year. And her mom actually had an emergency surgery on Friday and on Saturday, so we're glad that we caught her today. Um, Natalie is employed and has graduated high school early and plans to head to BYU, Idaho to study animal science. Natalie is loved beyond words and yet always ends up giving more than she takes. The world needs more Natalies in it. So today we're gonna go surprise her, so let's go. So, 
I'm Emmy. I work with East Idaho News. I do a thing called Sound Questions with Emmy and an Emmy's Award where I um, meet cool kids in our community who do cool things. Oh, and man. you were nominated. Awesome. So first, I have some questions. Okay. So um, I heard that you're in Hope Squad. So yes. what do you, I guess, what do you do in Hope Squad and what do you like about being Well, in actually right now, we're filling eggs to do an Easter egg hunt for the community. So I just like helping the community and helping just other students. That's what we're doing. That's really cool. Yeah. So, um, the person who nominated you said that you've been through some hard times yes. with your dad dying and stuff, and that you're kind of like, you help take care of your family yeah. and stuff. Can you tell us about why, I guess, you help with that and like, I know, like, <laughs> like to do it? Um, yeah, I mean, I just think like it's great to like keep your family going and just like with like people around you. Yeah, well, I can tell you're making me happy right now, <laughs> but it's just talking. So, we heard about you, and, um, I thought that what you do was is really cool. Oh, thank you. So um, I have a um, Emmy's Award gift certificate oh, thank you. and an hundred dollar Amazon oh, gift God. card. Thank you. You're so nice. Thank, thank you, so you much. for being awesome. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> oh, do you have anything you want to add? Um. Yeah. You guys are great. And just keep doing what you're doing because you're gonna follow my footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> I will. You're gonna be my role model for now. Oh my gosh. You're so sweet. Thank you. Bye. So deserving of that recognition. Good stuff right there. Well, history was made this week when all of our teachers met under one roof as part of a district-wide collaboration day at Thunder Ridge. So yeah, this Monday collaboration time matters a whole lot. And what we just talked about is we're really working to identify what matters the most for kids to learn and ensure no matter what school kids attend, they're going to get that same level of support and help to, learn, to ensure that they've learned those things. So uh, it couldn't happen without the support of our community, supporting our Monday schedule. Uh, we could bring all of our teachers together from across the whole district this afternoon. Collaboration day, yeah, 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 it was awesome, and that's a great way for teachers to meet together, not just in their schools, but it's from each department from each of the schools to collaborate on what's the best standard for the, kids to learn. Those essential standards, yeah. and we had a story back in November with um, child nutrition and how they use collaborate collaboration days. Uh, it's been a, a, it's safe to say, it's been a, a great success here in D93. It sure has. PLCs has been around for. I'm guessing about 10 years now, but we've really been focusing more on the doing than the knowing of PLCs mm -hmm. for about five years now. And so this is a huge opportunity for teachers to really understand what the PLC process is. And not only that, our board members, they were there yeah. as well, and uh, they're actually reading PLC uh, revisiting PLC book as a book club. Um, we talk about it at each work session, so it's a great way for us to be all on one page as a district. So important. Well, that's going to do it for us. See you next time on D93 News.